I have no idea why Dutron did not make it the same way like this for the front. Uh, but this should be easy for us to do now. And uh, I'm bringing you guys along so we can get to this thing. Now while we're doing this video, I'm going to talk about a few other things uh, that's, you know, been going on. Uh, for example, Apollo scooters, they don't like me. I don't know why, because I happen to like them, but I don't think they like me very much. And uh, I think I figured out why. Uh, if you guys know the time that... What was it that Segway came out, right? Segway came out with uh, the GT2, and also Apollo came out with their Apollo Pro. And after a while, the Segway GT2 dropped the price. You know, Segway dropped their price to like from 4K. Okay, so when Segway came out, they say that the Segway GT2 is 4K and I did buy the Segway GT2 and I told you guys it's not worth 4K, you know, maybe 30. It's a good scooter. The GT2 is an amazing scooter. I've said it multiple times. It's a really, really good scooter, but it's not worth 4K. I think along the line, Segway did listen to me and drop that price. Now the price goes all the way down to 2500 which I think is a great deal for a Segway GT2. Now, Apollo comes out with the Apollo Pro and they put it at the price of 4K. Again, me, <laughs> I'm, I'm always the same way across the board. So if I say the same thing for Segway GT2 and I will say the same thing for the Apollo Pro, because they share similar specs. So let's say the Apollo Pro came out and it had bigger battery, uh, not a 52 volt battery, maybe it had 72 volts, 40 amp hour battery. Then it will probably be like, okay, it might be up there with the Dutron Thunder 2, you know, but it was, you know, a smaller battery, uh, a little bit bigger than the Segway GT2, but the specs are very similar. So I said, hey, Apollo, your Apollo Pro is not worth 4K in the electric scooter market. It's a good scooter, but it's not worth 4K. And I know you guys want to make sale. You want to compete. That's the whole point of, you know, putting the scooters out there. Now, maybe the engineers got mad because I said that their scooter is not worth 4K. It was no shade to the engineers. They did a, probably an amazing job. You know, I haven't gotten my hands on one of those things. Uh, an amazing job designing the scooter and everything but i'm just talking about market value like the market price uh, because the segway was there selling for 2500 and then you have the apollo pro trying to sell for 4k and i told them you guys are not gonna make sales what's going on think about it they got upset they got butt hurt for some reason it, it, that's what it seems to me and they started writing on Reddit, making comparison between their Apollo Pro and the Segway GT2. And people were still telling them, <laughs> people were saying exactly what I was saying. Hey, Apollo, your scooter is not worth 4K compared to a GT2. It should be lower. Now, fast forward till now. The scooter have dropped for the Apollo Pro. They have dropped that price all the way from 4K to 3500 uh nice at 3300 and i think that price is gonna continue to drop to this actually maybe 2700 2800 which should be where it should have started and then they can do a sell like the segway does for the gt2 to 2500 and people will buy that stuff um your whole goal i know you know for these companies they might think that Oh, this thing is pretty tight. You might think that we are not smart. You know, we that are in the electric scooter community that we're not smart. Uh, we buy these scooters. We work on these scooters. Um, I don't know how you're going to tell us the value of it. Um, we know what's in the market. Unless you're not in the market, then you're like, okay, you don't know what's going on. Here we go. It's always to check if this thing, this is tightened, just in case if you don't know, and this is to loosen it up. 
So I'm gonna put some power down on this thing. Mm. There we go. You guys already know I've been working out. Allegedly, I would say allegedly, just in case it's <laughs> one of you wanna call me out. <laughs> Oh, this was loose. This was loose. This was, this was yeah, I saw that. That was very loose. All right, well, we're gonna tighten that up when I. Oh, sometimes you're actually losing these things up to have it a little bit more bouncier, you know. But uh, yeah, Apollo, come on, man. You know I like you guys. You guys are cool. I, you know, they're Canadians. I, I believe. I think you guys are cool. I think you guys make um, scooters for the community, you know. Because I know it's not easy to make scooters. It's, it's a lot of difficult work and getting the components to work how it's supposed to work. And um, machining some of these things. I appreciate the level of effort that you guys put into these things. I'm not just one of those guys that just say things and whatever. No, I, I think about the things that I say and I appreciate the companies that put efforts, you know, to provide um, scooters for the community. But, you know, you have to make sure that you're, you're competing with the marketplace and making sure that people are getting um, value for what they're buying. If I buy an Apollo Pro today, and I try to resell it for the same amount, it's not gonna fly. There's no way you can buy an Apollo Pro for 4K and then try to resell it for 4K, even if you never used it. Even if you only put two miles on it and, and you go on like Craigslist, offer up Facebook Marketplace and you try to sell it, it's not gonna fly. People are gonna price it for 1500, 2800. And just, as we're even talking about this, there is another company that they have a similar scooter to the Apollo Pro. And the similarity is crazy. And they're selling, but you know, of course the power is a little bit lower. Uh, it has 600 watt motors. And I think the Apollo probably has, is it 1200 or something or 14? I think it's 12. Cause I think the, the Segway have like 14 or something uh but yeah lower specs but way cheaper um very similar build to the apollo pro and that company is selling it for like 1500 so serious competition in the market um, this is why i said what i said about the apollo pro if they keep it at a very reasonable price when these competitions come in people are still going to choose the Apollo Pro over those scooters because it's, the value is great for the specs and it's also similar to other electric scooters that are out there. So the Apollo is not going to lose that much value. I did see a lot of people that commented on that scooter that they would have bought that over the Apollo Pro because it pretty much looks like the same thing and they get to save a few bucks. People that are in this electric scooter community most of us were open to saving money <laughs> who doesn't want to save a few bucks now there are, of course there are people like you know you want speed and so much dust up here and like that um you want speed and of course apollo pro is faster than that scooter um so we're, we're willing to spend a little bit more money but it can be unreasonable. I just think 4K is completely unreasonable for that scooter. So Apollo probably like still gonna dislike me after this, but I hope not. <laughs> They're still gonna be like, you know what, Kizzy? We're tired of you. If we catch you in Canada, it's on. <laughs> hey man, I have nothing against Apollo. Um, I think Apollo is actually trying. I think the company is trying. Um, 
it's very difficult for any company to get everything right 100 percent the only people that have ever tried to get everything right and it's not even the company is mini models mini models have been one of those companies that have been fighting for a very very long time to get it right to make sure that the customers come first and this and that and yeah you can ask it's not just me saying this like if you listen to some of the groups um if you go on some of the uh dutron groups you you will hear people complain but when they buy things from like mini models is there's like barely any complaint about the service they might complain about the scooter because of course there's still some things that dutron itself needs to improve on uh, for example when i talked about the mod guard that's back here they made this easy to remove but the front one is still very a pain in the butt to remove and you know people are gonna complain about that uh so this thing should be coming out pretty easy now i do have a tool that i use to pull this thing out uh, let's see here this one this bottom one seems like it might be a little bit of pain in the butt to pull out but we'll start with this one over here uh, this thing will probably be in the description i do have it on my amazon affiliate link some of you have asked me about this and i've given you guys the info even though you guys don't like to use my amazon link i don't know why it's like almost you guys don't want me to make anything off of the amazon and that's just that's just evil man why would you <laughs> i take out the time to find these things and then share it with you and you don't want to use my link it's crazy uh and if i remove the link it would just be like hey how come you don't want to you know how come you don't want to show us where you got that or this and that i don't think anything is free like nothing in life is free um this contents that we make is not free we're using our time to make it and so a lot of people will be like oh yeah this is free nothing in life is free even this dutron thunder three right here um most of you said oh it was free it's not free um you know the guys at mini models usa send this to me my guy cooper and you know i'm working on some deals with them and stuff uh, but it's not free nothing in life is free when people give me free stuff i'm like nah <laughs> i don't want it um i have to be you know give you something that's equivalent uh most of the time i don't accept like something for free something for nothing i it's not it's not my thing at all i want i want to give something in return uh something equivalent something that's of value back to you i'm not those type of people that just hey, yeah give me free stuff give me free stuff like no nah, i hate that stuff um so if you guys don't mind using those affiliate links for the time that i spend because i could be doing something else um, and just use the link uh, when you're making your purchase it doesn't take anything off of you uh, but it does give me a kickback and i make a few cents here and there it's not like you're gonna make me a billionaire <laughs> if you do I appreciate it you start buying a bunch of expensive stuff with my link all the time i need to grab my something real quick So I have to use this uh, thing right here to <laughs> pull this out a little bit. Yeah. Because over here is it's a little bit difficult to get um, this two in between. So, but yeah. I'm probably gonna stop this video here um, and um, start again with like changing the tires because I was talking about something else. But yeah, just to Apollo and the guys at Apollo, the engineers and all that stuff. Um, I have nothing against you guys, okay? 
I actually I like the effort that you guys put into making your scooters and what you do for the community. I do appreciate it. Even though the, you guys still have a lot of improvements to do in certain areas and it requires people like me to tell you that because everybody else mainly kisses your ass because they're trying to get some deal. I don't give a damn. But I like what you guys are doing. Um, you guys need to keep it up. Uh, when you're releasing your scooters, ask the community what price would you guys be willing to pay? And ask people that are reasonable, you know, who are actually like own some of these things. And um, they will give you some honest, fair deals that people are willing to pay for some of these things. Now, of course, you can mark it up by 300 or whatsoever and see, you know. But ask. Uh, but I have nothing against Apollo and um, for whoever that's on you guys team that have beef with me, I don't have beef with you. We, <laughs> we don't have time for that. <laughs> we are men, you know, we don't have time for unnecessary stuff. But um, yeah, uh, you guys keep up what you're doing and uh, um, I have no beef. That's just all. Peace out.